and there are the heroes of the hour behind the start line preparing for the big 5k challenge so guys any thoughts before we get underway uh, no, let's get this That's paint up. over with <laughs> <laughs> let's get warm <laughs> that sounds good three two one go and we're underway 5k challenge Jack and Michael are off for 12 and a half laps to reach the 5k distance. As you can tell by the attire of our runners this morning, it's considerably colder than we were expecting. It's probably about 35 degrees at the moment. It'll be interesting to see if they start shedding layers as this race goes on. Lap one complete. Looks like both of our runners are settling into their stride at this point. Starting to look nice and comfortable. That's two laps down. Ten and a half to go. Four laps complete. That's five laps done. Two kilometers in. That's six laps complete. Just about halfway done. Good job, guys. You're both looking really strong. Your breath sounds controlled. It's good news here. Just find that aerobic line and stay there. Seven laps down, guys. 
five and a half to go. The end is in sight. At the numbered markers, you guys will hit three kilometers. That's eight laps down, guys. A little over a mile to go. That sweet pain should be setting in right about now. We're under a mile from being done. Nine laps done. You're looking strong. That's 10 laps down. That's 10 laps complete, Jack. Two and a half to go. Dude, you're looking confident and incredibly strong at this point, coming up on 11 laps complete. Eleven down. Six hundred meters to go. Ding, ding, ding. This is the last lap. Look at the strength he's got left. He just picked it up in a huge way. Michael's got a kick today. This is an impressive performance. I have no idea what the time is, but this is impressive. the last 200 meters Michael this is the final push look at that stride open up he's pushing hard he's got this in a big way looking good down the home stretch The man on a mission. Here it comes. Done. Here comes Jack. Looking really good. Picking it up for the final push. Done. Here we go. You know, officially I'm attempting a sub 35. 
Um, as I just said to everybody, uh, I'm happy with a 36 anything. <laughs> I'm happy with a 3840 <laughs> if it comes down to it. <laughs> so here we go. We're going to see flames coming off the feet. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. He's obviously faster than I am on a bicycle, so if that tells you anything. Looking good. <clears throat> Definitely came out hot. Got about ten and a half miles an hour, I don't know. Yeah, I came out to a five fifteen. <laughs> Slowed it down enough. Five thirty five, I got to try to hold that. Yeah. Well this what an eighty-four second? Right there. I'm trying to get myself in a long haul kind of mood. Yeah. It's gonna be a while. The 10K is, is a difficult race. Blowing hard right now. Definitely slowing it down. Lap yeah, four. Yeah, about a 549 mile right there. I don't want to push too hard now or I'll burn it out. Yeah. I'm going to try to make it a split. Right. Looking good. Two miles. Nine laps in. Up on ten laps. A 
11. What time you got, Jack? Good, I'm feeling good. Halfway, 18.20. It's good pace. How you feeling? Just caught. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling bad, I just poured out of my... Yeah. Oh. 10k on the track is a grind. Imagine doing half marathon on the track. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's something to race with anyway. Yeah. Is this song, what number is this? This is 14. Okay. Right, Jack, 14? That eagle right there said he was faster than you. <laughs> I need those lights. Those pace lights. Yes. 15 and 22. Here we go, here we go. 10 laps. You can eat that for breakfast. Well, I guess it's lunch time now. <laughs> Gonna have a big old pizza afterwards, aren't you? Yep, you're on track, man. You are on track for this. Breathing sounding good. 13. Seven more. Man, it's feeling freaking hot. <laughs> Ditch the shirt, ditch the shirt. Six more, mile and a half. Four and a half. That eagle, he's staring you down. He says you got more in you. One mile left. Yeah, it's ripping. Don't beat yourself up too much on this side. Let it flow when you hit that back straight away. It'll even out. Two more, two more. Looking good. You don't fight the wind. All right, flow with the wind. Time to start thinking about that kick. 400 meters. Here we go. Looking fast. All right, here we 
go. It's the last time you have to battle this wind. Looking solid. go 200 left all right you're out of the wind turn it on here we go You got this. Yeah. Boom. Hey everybody, welcome back. As you just saw, we completed our time trials. All is baked, everything is done. And we're here just to provide a little bit of a uh, summation of uh, how we feel we did and what's coming next for all of us. So. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for sticking around after all the uh, exciting footage. Um, guys, um, I just want to ask you, how do you feel about the, the big day now that everything is uh, said and done? I feel pretty good. Um, I mean, I, I was about about where I expected to be. Um, I felt, you know, I, I believe I was about 22 or 23 seconds faster than the last time. I tried it um, a, a couple months ago, but um, I felt strong, um, and I, I was happy with where I was at. Um, you know, twenty one oh two, and then I was able to to really pick up the pace um, on that last last mile, and especially the last four hundred meters. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing footage. It's just um, you know, um, when I looked back at it myself. Um, you could see absolutely see the difference. That last mile, you looked so strong. You know, you were just, you, you know, you didn't lose anything. In fact, you picked it up and um, your stride looked strong. Uh, the whole way you were carrying yourself just looked so much better than the first attempt back in, in October. Um, I have absolutely no doubt you were um, poised to just get faster and stronger um, as your training continues. So, um, yeah, I will say, um, I, I mean, I'm going to count it as a PR because the, the distance was exact, you know, since we were on a track. Um, yeah. So my last attempt um, or not my last attempt, but um, I guess my previous PR supposedly was at the mercy of my watch GPS. So, you know, whether or not that was exactly 3.1 or not, who knows, but um, that was 20 minutes, 53 seconds. So, you know, probably um, I'm, I'm going to count this as, you know, official. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, it's a good, like you said, it's a great base because we know that we ran exactly 3.1 miles around that track. So um, yeah, it's, it, it's a great, it's a great uh, bar to use yeah. as a standard. So um, Jack, how about you? How'd you feel about the day? Yeah. Um, I, very, very similar to Michael. It was uh, about it, where I, I thought it was, um, you know, looking back, losing the two weeks, you know, that, that was, that was, um, that came back up, especially felt that in that last three quarter mile or so um, there at the end, I just kind of ran into with, with me, I, I believe I just ran into a bit of a conditioning issue. Um, you know, I felt, felt strong, honestly, you know, for, you know, the majority of the, of the run up into those last three laps. And then I think conditioning just, just got, just got to me where I just could really feel the fatigue, um, building up and, um, uh, but, but that, that's, um, that's solvable. Um, so, uh, you know, more distance, you know, as, as I've been working my way back up, um, from the injury, um, I'm just now to the point where I'm, really starting to pack on more miles um, and um, incorporate a lot more speed um, into the week. And so, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a journey. And, um, and, you know, I was very happy. I, I was at the end, I was very happy to, uh, to, to finish where, where, where I did. Um, 
you know, from a PR perspective, um, just like Michael, definitely the quickest. I know we've, since we've been kind of timing each other throughout the summer and whatnot, this, this has been the fastest we've ran together yet. So, um, so that was, that was great. That was great to see something to definitely build on, you know, looking back, I think with me, I, for me personally, I think I started out of the gate, um, a little, a little, a little underpaced. Um, that's just, that's, that's, that's just me just looking back on it and, 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 and really taking a look at, at the splits. Um, you know, I think, I think if I, if I knew the fatigue was going to set in a little bit later on, maybe a, a, a little bit more firepower outside horsepower outside the gate, um, could have maybe shaved off a couple more seconds there, but, um, you know, overall, um, considering a month ago, I, I was on crutches, couldn't walk, um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm at least content where we are. And uh, I think, you know, there's, there's a lot of positive, um, a positive uh, pavement ahead of. Gotcha. And I'm glad to hear you say that. I'm glad you're, you, you have that perspective on that, on that time trial, because um, in all truth, when I saw what you guys were doing for the vast majority of that run and how strong you both looked, and especially you, Jack, like, uh, like, I, like I just finished telling Michael, I was really impressed with his improvement um, over our October 5K time trial. Mm -hmm. But having just um, witnessed your racing for the first time this past Saturday and knowing what you've gone through when, in your buildup with, with that two weeks of utter downtime and then just trying to ramp up with like two and a half weeks to go before time trial day, you were, your performance was, was really strong and really impressive. Um, like I, I literally, I really didn't think I was going to see anything that strong out of you. In all truth, um, I, I think what you did is incredible, and I think that really, um, if you if you are going to be sort of picking up where you left off with your training from here forward, I, I, you know, I don't I don't know what the future holds as far as the three of us getting together and presenting things online goes, but. Uh, as far as your training goes, if you keep on pushing the way you have been, you know, keeping things within a safe zone so that you don't um, blow up again. Um, but if you just keep on on the traje trajectory that you were on since your return from your injury, I have no doubt by like February 1st, mid-February on the outside, you're just going to be destroying any records that you set out for. Um, so, so good for you. I'm glad, I'm glad you don't, didn't take that as a negative experience because, um, you know, I mean, for me, that that just uh, proved your strength, what, what happened Saturday. So um, good for you, and um, congratulations to both of you. I think you did a great job out there. Um, I really don't have a lot to say about mine. I'm, I'm really happy with my performance, I guess. <laughs> um, you know, obviously, I came up way shy on a sub-35. Um, uh, you know, by I missed that by over a minute and a half, but... Um, you know, I, I, judging by what my track interval workouts looked like over the last two weeks, I really didn't have, a, I wasn't realistically trying to go for a sub 35 anymore. I mean, I would have loved to have hit it, but I didn't even, I didn't even come off the start line with the intention of doing it. I just, I knew it wasn't there, but you know, uh, considering that my previous 10 K best was a 38 41, I'll take a 36, 34 and I'll be real, real happy with it. So, um, you know, I think there are things I can do and I plan to do um, after my, uh, after my uh, spring marathon training block is over and after I run that race, whether it be virtually or in a real race, um, I plan to return to more dedicated speed work so that I can take another crack at a 5k and a 10k um, mm -hmm. before summer heat sets in. Um, and my goal then, which I will document here on this channel, will be uh, a 1659 5k and uh, take a realistic shot at um, at least a sub 36 10k. Um, <laughs> yeah. The, the idea, re the realistic idea of a sub 35 10k uh, <laughs> that still seems a little bit <laughs> uh, too, 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 uh, a bridge too far at this point. Let me put it that way. But um, uh, the good news is that I just want to leave everybody with that I will be talking about more on my channel as the weeks go by, as my marathon training um, progresses. 
is I've already modified my weight training to uh, add in um, deadlifts. I've increased the weight on my squats and I've added a lot more weight to my uh, lunges. Um, so um, with that increased leg strength, as, along with more dedicated speed work and intervals, I, I really expect to um, at least be able to hit a, a sub-17 and a, a, a sub-17 5K and a sub-36 10K probably by April. Um, but with that said, everybody, um, I'm proud of these guys. As I've already said, I think they, they had incredible performances, both of them showing their heart and showing their strength and their, their willingness to put themselves out there. Um, I think my progress is uh, pretty much what I expected. So um, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, do you guys have any uh, last thoughts before I go into the final goodbye here? I don't think so. Maybe we'll, we'll pop in for a little update at some point, but uh... I think we'll just stay the course for now. <laughs> okay, great. So um, once again, guys, I, I appreciate your presence throughout this, uh, this whole series. And uh, you know, uh, as you go forward with your own training and your own plans, whatever that be, and, and uh, I know some, like Jack, you, you're gonna be doing like a 200 mile uh, relay race. Uh, and Michael, I know you're building towards uh, a half marathon in Greenville, South Carolina at the end of February. So uh, whether you want to continue um, uh, on a regular basis documenting your journey and sharing that on my channel, or if you have some other uh, social media channels that you're gonna be sharing through directly, uh, please feel free to um, get that information to me and I'll be more than happy to share that with my viewers. Um, and uh, you know, uh, nobody has seen the last of any of the three of us. There's a lot more uh, fun running ahead. So. Uh, with that, I want to thank everybody for uh, staying tuned to all of us throughout this journey. Um, your inspiration and your motivation has gone a long way to getting us to that start line and across that finish line. So thank you. And as always, everyone, get healthy, stay strong, and keep pushing. Peace out. Bye-bye. You're making me pedal hard, Paul. This is a workout on this bicycle.